this was a, a, a June 16, 1976, yeah. This was a peaceful match by the student. A world-renowned photographer and struggle activist, Sam Zima captured the iconic picture of Hector Peterson that exposed the brutality of the apartheid system. His work was recognized not only in South Africa, but even beyond our borders. Zima received the author of Ikamanga, awarded to South Africans who have excelled in the field of arts, culture, and journalism, among others. But the family has just revealed how the veteran landsman suffered in the hands of people of his home village. In spite of the good that he was and that we think he represented to his community, he has gone through some bad spell here. There was a time when there was a protracted protest against something that has nothing to do with us as a family and that has nothing personally to do with him but they used him as cannon fodder to besiege his businesses. For a period of three months, he was not operating. They actually barricaded him and made sure he was confined to his place. For three months, an old man like that, his blood pressure must have shot up and down all the time. Zima's home was also petrol bombed during one of the protests. It's believed he was targeted because he was a member of the advisory council at the local tribal authority. Community members were not happy about the way the tribal authority was running its affairs. They broke into his house and stole everything they possibly can. The only thing that they could not steal was the house itself, which didn't mean much to people, but everything else that they could, including his award, which was given by the president of the country, the order of Ikamanga, stolen that chain which is meaningless in the hands of any other person unless it is officially given to you. The jacket of his ANC Veterans League, stolen. The jacket that the president gave him when he honored him as his guest in parliament, stolen. All of those things, stolen. After the odious period that you went through being harassed at his house. And that must have exacerbated his health a little bit because he, he, when he collapsed, all that we can uh, uh, point to was high blood pressure. And it was not the first time. After that incident, my dad in the past year collapsed three times because his health was deteriorating based on the fact that he had gone through some very, very trying moments. The family has, however, hailed government and some ANC members for providing support whilst Zema was still alive. The former Premier of Mpumalanga and now Deputy President of the country, David Mabuza, built Zema a house. But he never lived to stay in that house. So uh, this has given my dad a lot of dignity, unfortunately. Unfortunately, on the day that he received the keys, not directly from David Mabuza, I wanted him to receive the keys directly from David Mabuza, the man who built this house and gave my dad a dream. On that day when my dad received the keys and was trying to sort them out, which, one will, which ones will open, which door and so on and so on, he collapsed that morning on Thursday last week. And he collapsed at the time when the family was preparing to move to this house. He never lived to spend a day in this new house. That is the most unfortunate part of it. But nonetheless, we will remain eternally grateful to the man who made it possible for my dad's dream to be fulfilled. The family is now working on ensuring that Sam Zima's wishes are realized. They include the establishment of a museum and a school of photography at his home village. Zima will be laid to rest next week Saturday. Moili Maslela, SAPC News, at Lilydale in Pushback Ridge.